collective flowers, flowers, flowers. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Mm -hmm. back to my channel this is adana also known as the afro scene today we're here for the beautiful and handsome collective hello collective how you doing flowers 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 don't forget to like share subscribe hit that notification bell to book a private reading with me or shop in my store all that information is in the description box below i just got a, a channel message in spirit so you need to speak about this so i had to write down so okay channel message here intimidating doesn't work okay <laughs> let me just sit with this really quickly for a moment just give me a, a few All right, so someone is afraid that they can no longer intimidate you. They're very afraid. I'm hearing, I don't know what to do. I'm also hearing this is your fault. Yeah, look, we got concern. A mature man is concerned that they can no longer uh, intimidate you. This is a collective read. Not everything is going to resonate, okay? This just came down, like, it, it just came to me just like that. So, I wasn't going to... Okay, so let's, let's get into the story. So, so far we have a mature man and we have concern here. And there there's major concern here because the, the, the intimidation tactics doesn't work. Their intimidation tactics um, stems from fear and, like... Um, uh, trying to scramble your mind, scramble your brain here. But uh, what they're doing here is they're trying to... They're trying to make you feel like you won't receive the help. They're trying to make you feel like you're all alone. They're trying to make you feel like no one is going to help you and that's false, okay? Well, I mean, if that's the case, why are you in despair? <laughs> it's always fake pages, bro. Ugh, ugh, anywho. <laughs> Tell me more about this mature man concerned and being in despair. They're in, con they're in despair or they're in concern because of a mature woman. So take it how it resonates. The mature man could be the mastermind. The mature woman could be the mastermind. They could work together and be the mastermind of everything. However, it resonates in your story here. But we got mature man and mature woman here. Older people that is concerned and despair because they can no longer intimidate you. <laughs> they know they're going to jail. Yeah, oh yeah, they know they're going to jail. They're also, um, what they're trying to do now is they're trying to bring a person that you're not aware of or that you don't know to court you. But this person already is coming in with bad intentions because they paid this person, yeah, gift. They set this person up or they're trying to use this person to set you up to lure you in so that way they can still continue with the tactics here. But these individuals are sick. They're actually sick, but they're still doing stupid shit to, um to ensure that they uh that their plan is successful and is not going to be successful here that's the message use your discernment okay if you're going out anywhere this is not to scare you but just you know logically 
just use your discernment, okay? Because someone is, these people here are definitely trying to intimidate you, but they're trying to use someone that you don't know that can get close to you here so that way they can continue on with this abuse and it's not going to work. And the reason being that they're doing, yeah, look, think is in reverse and use. They're not using their logic. They, they're doing all this off of emotions here because they're caught or they're stuck in a, they're, they're stuck in headlines. They have no leg to stand on and they have no way of checking you out. So they're trying to bring in reinforcements here. <laughs> you're not worried what you watching <laughs> all right we'll be about best behavior <laughs> see they trying to play it low they're trying to play it low they're trying to um hmm Oh, I'm sorry. I, I was was hearing a lot. I'm sorry. <laughs> that happens. Um, I'm hearing this is the last chance that we have to get towards the collective. Okay. However, I see your story, but this is this is the last. So I'm hearing a conversation. This is the last chance that we had to, uh, you know, push the, the collective against the wall to stop them, stop them from speaking out, stop them from talking to others. Like this is our last chance here. Yeah, the, the conversation that I'm hearing is very clear. It's very, very, very clear. They're like whispering on the phone. They don't want to leave any text messages. So they're not doing any text messages anymore because they realize that that can be, you know, um, it can be traced. But they're using burner phones, but that's okay as well. That's, that's whatever they got to use is fine. But, you know, their messages are not hidden from the universe, okay? So if you're on the lower frequency of things, a lower vibrational of things, um, your messages are not safe, okay? Your conversations are not safe. Your spirit is not safe. Your soul is not safe, okay? So if you want to continue to be low down and dirty, you're thinking that people can't see or hear what you're doing, think again, okay? You will be not only exposed for this, you'll be going to jail for this. Even six feet under, judged by six or judged by 12, carried by six. Those are the only two choices that these karmics have left. And they're, they're at a point where, you know, all bets are off. They're going, they're going in full throttle because, you know, well, hey, if everything's already out in the open in that kind of way and they're still trying to do damage control. So they're willing to go all the way out because it's like, well, what else do we have to lose? And they're getting ready to lose everything. It's most of them, most of them may lose their life. I'm just saying, hey, hey. Right, hey, I'm just a messenger, hey. And it's a group of them, okay? But their boat is sinking. So be careful of new people or new, um, not everybody, of course, use your discernment, okay? But uh, people that may come off as very odd or off towards you, they wanted to spark up a conversation oddly, and you're like, yo, you okay? You can just tell. If you are connected to the divine and you are very tapped in with your discernment, you're going to be able to spot the bullshit a mile away, okay? It's going to be an inside job. So inside job could be... 
um, yeah, someone that they know that, but you don't know, and they're trying to get them to come towards you, but it's not before it even begins, it's going to end. It's not going to work. karmics here are the ones that are praying because some of them are praying to get out of the situation so while they're praying to get out of the situation they're still praying on your downfall it makes no sense but anywho um we have why so the ones that are praying quietly crying behind the scenes and asking god for forgiveness and to get them out of this situation things of that nature they're asking why isn't this not working in the, why not they're asking why um they're not able to get out of the situation here. Why, yeah, why it's not working or why them not praying or why them praying to the higher source, a higher power. Why aren't they getting a pass or a pardon by spirit? So they're doing everything possible to try to take you down and it's just, it's just not going to work. It's not going to work. Anybody that they try to send towards you, whether you know them or not, it's not going to work. Because even if they attempt to get towards you, that some kind of a, a mystical something is going to is going to arise. So it's just not going to work. Just let them do what they gotta do, child. It's it's open season, not for you, for them spiritually. It's open season. See, people think, or I guess these this group here think that we're the only. I'll say beings that walk this earth. We're not the only beings that walk this earth. There are many different phenomenons and phenomena that also is a part of this earth. And because they keep thinking that they can either try to get up on you, get one up on you, try to play you, try to blindside you, try to get you from the side, from the back, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. They don't understand how truly protected that you are. I stamp that. I stamp that one million percent. You are completely covered and can't nothing get towards you unless you know but nah it can't nothing get to get towards you collective and the people that they keep sending towards you here they're realizing this because they're like what the f what is this every time they try to get towards you something bad happens to them <laughs> Listen, it's the power of the prayer, baby. <laughs> Prayers are also affirmations, mantras. It's all one and the same, okay? So however you do your thing. Somebody eating donuts, chocolate donuts, powdered donuts, okay? They told this person or this group of people that are trying to come towards you, we have set in reverse. They're trying to tell these people that it was going to be an easy thing. You're an easy target. You're not a target whatsoever, but that's what they're telling these people that it's going to be an easy target. You're going to be able to get this person because I guess they feel like you're gullible or something. Okay, whatever. Um, it's not going to work. <laughs> and this is why they feel so intimidated because the intimidation is not working. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like slowly losing their mind because everyone knows what they're doing they're still doing it they're sick but they're still doing this weird shit yeah we got both so both masculine and feminine energy are probably working together with other people they're just recruiting people at this time they don't care they're looking for people that has the most craziest heinous like criminal background people that don't really give a f about life because their life is messed up um, people that's into heavy criminal activities, things of that nature. They're looking for specific people to get this to be successful. And again, it's just not going to be successful here. Okay. Yeah, it goes deep. It goes really, really deep. I told you. Uh -huh. Mark is in reverse. Uh, you you good, bro. You they trying to mark you, but they nah. You good. Mark is in reverse. They can't mark you. And yes, mean just basically um solidifying what I'm saying here that they cannot mark you. They can't. <laughs> they can't mark you. All they doing is marking themselves. 
they keep incriminating themselves. Oh, yeah, they'll be getting a lengthy sentence, whether it's an actual jail sentence or six feet under sentence. Hey, hey, hey. Huh. Huh. somebody may get the gas chamber. It, it's bad. It's oh, damn, we got correct. Somebody may get the gas. They may be. Yeah, they may get the gas chamber. And they miss every time they try to come towards you. They miss. Every time, every time they try to throw you off your path, your golden path, they miss. Every time they try to recruit other people to do whatever it is that they're trying to do towards you, they miss. And it's just growing bigger and bigger and bigger. They have a lot of people in this group. A lot of people in this group. But the more people that they recruit, the people that they're recruiting or the new people that they're recruiting is not aware of how big or massive the group is. They just think it's just them, like the duo, this masculine and feminine, and then the person they hire. The person they hire just assume it's just them, but they don't realize it's much bigger than this. So they're putting themselves in a situation that they can't get out of. They're not aware of that because this couple here, this duo here is not telling them to everything. They're just giving them surface level as to why you need to be getting rid of in that kind of way. Even the hardest of the hardest fall. If you're doing wicked things, the hardest of the hardest will also fall. Everything has to come to an end some point in time. I know what I'm talking about. Built is in reverse. They're not going to be able to build anything. This hill, like this hill of, this is a murderous group. Like they're really trying to execute the collective. They're really trying to exile the collective. They're really trying to uh annihilate the collective and it's, it's not gonna work they still they're still trying to do this here and it's, it's just not gonna work it's just it's not gonna work you is in reverse it ain't you it's not gonna work <laughs> it's not gonna work bro they think that you are very sly you're like a fox and they don't understand you and they're trying to understand you they feel like you're some kind of like a machine like you're not real Okay, and how you're always able to stay on top of things. Like, how, how are you able to know what's going on? Like, sound and things of that nature. Like, how do you know what we're doing before we're doing it? In that kind of way. <laughs> yeah, they're going to be found guilty. For the ones that are still here on earth, for the ones that, you know, uh, actually is going to go through court and stuff, someone may go go to, uh, may get the death penalty as well. It's going to be some very, very, very harsh consequences or repercussions to what they're doing here because of the ignorance of this mature woman and this mature man here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Their plan, all of their plans backfired. All of their plans backfired. They are so blown away by the collective. They don't know what to think of you. They just know that they just have to get rid of you. And the more that they try, the more that they incriminate themselves even further. And this is why they're really scrambling to try to intimidate you. You can't intimidate someone when the person, let's I'll put it this way. You cannot, karmic, you cannot intimidate the collective when the collective already know your, your plans. Again. When someone do something wrong, right, for the first time, it becomes their MO. And that's all they know because they perfected. They perfected their craft of assness. If that makes sense? So that's all they know. They're not that smart like they think they are. They're not smart at all. That's all they know because that's all they perfected. So once you're able to crack the code of someone that only knows how to do one thing a certain way, what else is there they're going to know how to do? They're not going to know how to do anything else. And because of that, everything else that they try to do is going to, fa is going to fail. The reason being is because they have not had the time to master that so-called craft. Hopefully that makes sense. You completely strip this person naked. They have no mask. They have no clothes. And that's figuratively speaking. They have no clothes and they have no mask. They're completely vulnerable, open, raw, and naked. And they don't like it. Death threats is not gonna uh death threats ain't gonna uh work. 
uh, calling cell phones, leaving text messages, incriminating yourself. Like all these things that they're trying to do is just not go over. Just watch them like, you done yet, child? Are you done yet, bruh? You done? And they don't like the fact that you're not afraid. Why would you be afraid of something that you didn't do? You told the truth. Why the fuck would you be afraid of telling the truth? If you didn't do it, why you why you so bent out of shape? That's my whole thing. If someone if someone comes to me and told me that hey, you da 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 da, and I know I ain't do it, I'm not gonna flinch. I ain't gonna get upset. I ain't gonna. Do, I'm not gonna get any of that stuff because I know deep down in my heart I ain't do it. So again, why do I need to get bent out of shape for something that I didn't do? That makes sense. If anything, they're intimidated by you because you're not afraid of them. Why, why, why? And I'm speaking for me, but generally. Why would I be afraid of somebody that's trying to do some weird shit towards me? Again, that's just my own perspective. I, I just, I, I just, I don't see it that way. Like, oh, okay, you're trying to do that to me? Oh, why are you trying to do that? Oh, okay. It just doesn't make sense to me for it to be afraid of something like that. Especially when you're aware of what the fuck they got going on here. Somebody could be a twin or someone's birthday could be May or June, which will be uh, Gemini. They ain't fooling nobody. It could be a masculine here. Okay, the math is not mathing. They're not taking anything. They not. But they're going to be pulled. They're going to be pulled away from all this. They're watching you. And as they're watching you, the feds watching you. And let's not. <laughs> hey, feds. Hey, feds. How you doing? Flowers, flowers, flowers. Hey, feds. They're trying to have conversations under a minute. So this is how man, these people are weird. Anywho, so what I'm hearing from Spirit here is that they will have conversations, but they will only time it for like a minute. The max will be probably two minutes, but they feel like two minutes is too much. Okay. But um when they get on the phone, is to say whatever they need to say very quickly. So that someone calls, they just listen, yo, hey, whatever. They start rattling down everything that they need done and then they hang up the phone so that way they feel like, I guess, the, the towers are not going to ping or the information that was being said within the phone is not going to be tapped into. Their phones are tapped. Their text message phone, everything is tapped here, okay? Even people, their family or their community here, they're looking at them. Ah, they seem like something is off with them. And they're like, yo, you good? Like, they don't seem right. They seem spooked. They seem very off because they, they about to get caught. <laughs> They want to know how you know what you know. Don't worry about it. Why are you doing what you're doing, Karmic? Don't ever ask the question as to why we know what we know. Don't worry about that. Why in the fuck are you doing what you're doing? That's the question that needs to be asked, Karmic. Why are you doing what you're doing? Don't worry about how to collect and know what we know. Okay? Why are you doing what you're doing? Mm, it's a pattern. It's a pattern. When people learn, again, when people do something wrong, right, for the per for the first time, they they establish a pattern. And because you expose their pattern, they have nothing else to do. So they're just going all out on a tangent to figure out whatever sticks or fit, and it's just it's just falling out. It's just falling off the uh the seams here. Everything is just falling at the seams. <laughs> They have so much incriminating evidence against them. It's going to take you such a long time to read. It's pages and pages and pages of incriminating things, evidence that they have against these people here. I 
I'm hearing, what is it going to take to shut them up? Stop doing it. <laughs> that simple. Stop doing it. <laughs> Stop doing it. <laughs> Uh, anyway, you will be celebrating and you going to live a very well, long, thriving, healthy life. You ain't going nowhere, child, okay? You're going to be living into your old age. And when I say old, old age, probably 90s, 100, like old age, old age. You ain't going to no place, child, okay? Four of Wands, it's you're going to be celebrating. Things are going to be balanced. Everything feels so hectic. Everything feels so rushed and hurried because they don't know what to do. They're grasping at straws. Okay, well, yeah, okay, yeah, but don't, and, 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 yeah, and, 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 that's them. <laughs> and you just sitting there like, oh, okay, there you go. You done yet? You, 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 you finished yet? You finished yet, little Jay? Little dog? You done with your tantrums? You finished, little dog? That's how you guys also. You finished, little dog? You done? Are you finished? <laughs> Borrowing money from people <laughs> to pay this criminal here, child, please. Y'all ain't good, man. And it's just gonna be in the feet. Six so on, so good. Continue taking that money. The feds are worried about that money too. Justice is here for you, collective child. Okay. <laughs> they working hard together in the group setting. Yeah, gotta work, gotta work. Okay. Dummies, friends will carry you, but they'll never bring you back. They'll never bring you back. Always remember that in your mind. Friends will carry you, but they'll never bring you back. And they get to the point of exhaustion here. They want to abandon it because they just can't find a path or an opening to do this here. Because it's not going to work. They even went completely silent, like radio silent. You can hear a pin drop. And they only called during certain times, certain designated days, or whatever the case may be. Confirmation. Um, so that way people can't keep up as to what they're doing. All of this is going to play out all of this. And also when this hit the news, cause it's going to hit the news worldwide. I don't know if they're going to release the videos. Cause that's something that little, you know, that's what I'm hearing. I'm sorry, but I gotta let you know that I'm the real deal. Okay. All right now, but I'm hearing they're not sure if they're going to release the, the audio or the footage because it's that damning or that. Uh, what's the word? Haunting. So they're kind of deciding if they're going to release that or so. But they have they have all the information that they need, child. Every card that come out is the end of conflict. Five of swords. This is this is not gonna work. This intimidating crap. This, this shit is not gonna work. If you ain't do nothing, you ain't got nothing to worry about. That's my motto. If you ain't do nothing, you ain't got nothing to worry about. But shit, I ain't do nothing. So what the hell I got to worry about for? That's my motto and I stick to it. Okay. They stuck in the past with the Six of Cups here. And somebody will be confessing with the seven of swords. Somebody will be confessing because it's going to get too much or too hot to bear, too hot to handle. Like they feel like their life is being scrutinized. And yeah, their life is being scrutinized. I mean, y'all want to scrutinize the collective's life. So why not the feds can't scrutinize your life? I mean, hey, you want to do it towards the collective? It's only right the feds do it towards you. Okay. All right. Well, y'all keep playing with them big boys. All right. Keep playing with them. But anywho. We got the Seven of Swords here, and I do feel like whoever they hired or they paid or whatever, and they paid a good sum, like five, six thousand dollars, I'm hearing or so, to do this here, and they're going broke. They're going broke to do nothing. Like all this money that they're wasting here, they're going broke, and they're not going to get what they want. They're not going to be successful with it here. And it's going to make them feel very burdened and overwhelmed with the Ten of Wands here. Because the, the, the plan or the ploy that they're so wanting to happen, it's just, it's not going to happen to you, Collective. I truly stamp that, bruh. It's not going to happen to you. 
please remember this is a collective read okay take what resonates leave the rest okay all right, while they fidgeting and they fighting amongst each other and they arguing, who going to do this, who going to do that? And you said you was going to do it and you said it was going to be easy and I can't find this person and I can't this and I can't that. You going to be here, boo. Page of wine, just moving forward. And the further you move away from them, the further, the, 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 you're just going to be so far out, far away from these individuals, child. The whole group is scared. I don't know what for. <laughs> They scared. I don't want to go to jail. I don't want to die. Oh, okay. Okay. That's the karmic speaking act. We got the chariot here, but they losing control. Uh -huh. They lost completely control of this whole situation here. You see what greed and licorishness gets you? Licorice, be licorice means to be greedy, okay? But you see what greed and licorishness gets you? Karmic. Again, no trickery. <laughs> no trickery. And they stuck in their own web. My goodness gracious. Justice. Again. Heavy, 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 heavy justice around you, boom. And justice also means protection. It's going to shock a lot of people. They're like, damn, bro, what you like? The, bi the bionic man, the bionic woman? Like, dang, what type of protection you got like that? Yeah, dang, spirit community gonna be talking like, yo, what? Yeah, they praying on your downfall. Well, so they think. They're not praying on your downfall. They're praying on your downfall because everything that they try to push onto you goes back immediately to them. And they're watching you very quietly and there's nothing that they can do. Because this fantasy that they want fulfilled will not be fulfilled for you. It'll be fulfilled for them. So much overwhelming and damning incriminating evidence that they, it got them very very afraid very 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 afraid but yet they're still trying to get people to do this stupid shit towards you <sighs> what y'all had for breakfast for me i had an omelet and it was so good child i should have took a picture but it was so good all right we got fate <clears throat> we got glove in reverse so then there's no protection for them this is fated to happen fated for the whole world to see these individuals in the light that they need to be in here and that's what they're very afraid of because they feel like once this story goes public or once your story goes public they know it's it's a it's a, it's <laughs> dang yo man <laughs> Oh my God. So yes, judgment is being placed upon them. A judgment has been called upon them and they're realizing that once this story goes viral, cause yeah, it's gonna go viral. I hope you ready collective. Your story about to go viral, boom. In a good way for you, but not for them. Okay, yeah. Oh, and let me remind y'all. We coming up on Saturn retrograde, Saturn return. That starts tomorrow, Saturday. I think it's for like, I think they four months or so. Don't quote me on that part. That part, I'm not sure. But I do know for sure, Saturn return. I want to say it's Saturn in Pisces. I believe it's Saturn in Pisces. You'll have to double check. But I know for a fact, Saturn return starts tomorrow. And a lot of people are going through Saturn returns. Okay, so... Just look up Saturn return, Saturn, Saturn retrograde, and, you know, look up the information yourself. But Saturn is really, this is Saturn, what he, the energy of Saturn is known for. Karma. Good karma, bad karma. Learning your lessons or having to redo your lessons. A retrograde is a review of all the things that you went through, you experienced, and either you learned or you did not learn. So in this time, this, this is a very crucial time for everyone on the planet now because of Saturn being in retrograde. And it's really going to either restrict your life to a point where you're going to feel like you can't breathe because of all the things you have done in the past and you haven't learned your lesson, you're still doing it. So they're going to feel very suffocated or Saturn is going to work in your favor. And the good part of the good karma is that, that, yes, you went through what you went through, you've learned your experience, and now you're being rewarded by Saturn. Okay, 
So put your energy where it needs to be. Again, they will not be successful with this. They will not be successful with this. Remember, fear is a construct, something that you create in your mind. And if people are constantly projecting fear into your mind, it eventually can become your reality. Everything starts with the mind. It starts with a thought. It starts with a notion, okay? Be careful of what you're thinking. Be careful of the notions that you are thinking because if you are consistently thinking, oh, I'm afraid, I'm this, I'm that, then that's what's going, that's what you're going to receive more of. So there's no reason to be afraid, even though all of this is, is playing out and happening. Be careful, of course, use a discernment. If something don't feel right, listen to your discernment, no matter how far-fetched it may sound to you. If something feels off, listen to your discernment, okay? Don't go against your discernment. Don't go against what anyone else say. Listen to you and your body and your intuition. If that makes sense, and if your intuition say that, hey, something's not right here, follow that, okay? They can't take your intuition from you. They can't take your discernment from you. you can't do it. And if you're wanting to know how to increase your awareness of your discernment, sit with self. Sit with self. Again, the more you learn about you, the better off you're going to be for yourself. And the more you're going to learn about these other individuals here, you have to learn you. First, first, foremost, priority, you have to learn you. It's imperative. You have to learn you. That's what's going to keep you safe from all this crazy shit out here. Learning you. Because when you learn you, nobody, nobody can tell you about you because you know you. They don't know themselves. At all. They're depending or they're listening to other people and they're allowing other people to guide them down this very, very, very dark path. And I'm also hearing, um, if I go to jail, I'm still going to get the collective. I'm still going to get somebody. I'm still going to get you set up from jail. That's not going to work. It's like, <sighs> it's just not going to work. <laughs> it's, 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 it's just not going to work. It's just not. It's just not. It's just way too many incriminating, overwhelming, damning evidence, bruh, against these karmics here. It's just not going to work, bruh. It's just, it's just, it's not going to work. These intimidating tactics is not doing anything to anyone. It's just, it's like, okay, yeah, we see you, all right, whatever. It's it's just not going to work. They still try to do it quietly behind the scenes. It's, it's just, it's not going to work. And they know that it's not going to work, but because they tried everything else and they they truly feel like they have nothing else to lose because everything is falling apart in their life, they're just going the extra mile. And the harder they go, the harsher the opposition that they will feel and receive. So let them do it. Let them do what they got to do. See, they're doing it on the down low. They're doing it quietly here. It's not going to work. These people sick. Some of these people sick on their deathbed and they still doing this weird stuff, child. <laughs> Yeah, family. This is some weird stuff, man. <laughs> could be a Gemini. However, it resonates. Someone could be pretending here. However, it resonates in your story. Somebody could be having hot flashes. I'm not at that stage to have that. I just keep feeling like a hot and cold, hot and cold, hot and cold. So even somebody's having hot flashes or this group is having hot flashes of the idea of them getting caught. And this is why they don't like psychics. 
because psychics know what's up. You don't even have to be a psychic. You just can just be aware of, you know, things and they don't like it. You could also be divorced from this person. So however resonates in your story, okay? Libra, however resonates in your story, but there's a Libra involved. However resonates in your story, again, it's a collective read. So not everything gonna resonate, okay? Justice, again, is here. I don't know how many times I pulled out justice here, child. I don't, three, four times already. This is, you are, what I, <laughs> heavily protected is an understatement. It is a truly, truly, truly an understatement. It's like God or divine themselves sit right there, like right next to you. Like, I wish you would. I wish you would. <laughs> Hitting the gem is not so hidden anymore. <laughs> Plot in the sim for first. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know it's a serious matter. Oh, man. But the energy of just scattered it's like and I listen okay when I was younger we used to have roaches I'm just gonna put it out there I don't care shit it is what it is okay but if you live in like the northern parts of the, the states or the country like uh Maine well not Maine more so like New York and like DC and Philly and Jersey and stuff like that the homes are together all of the homes are attached they're not detached and if you're living in homes that are attached, sometimes you can get rodents and creatures from other people's homes. And I did live in a pretty good, clean, decent home. That was true. But there will be some cases where like roaches and shit will come out from, because the, the homes are old, right? So it will come out from different areas and crevices and stuff like that. And I say all that to say, like when you turn on the light and you see all these bugs, you know, scurrying around and stuff like that, that's them. They're in the light and they're scurrying. They're trying to they're trying to go to safety, but <laughs> they're trying to hide. Oh, man, a Pisces. You could be, they could be however it resonates. Oh, okay, we got a Pisces friend here. So however it resonates in your story, okay? You could be a you could be a Pisces, or you could have a friend that's a Pisces. Again, however it resonates, they may be coming towards you with a message here to let you know what's going on because they don't want to go down for any of this. So again, however it resonates, okay? They're in stuck energy. They're doubting themselves. Yeah, we have thief. So you may have a Pisces that's a friend that stole from you or took something from you. However, again, however that resonates, okay? However that resonates. <laughs> oh, okay. They, oh, transition? Wow. Well, if you have a Pisces as a friend, they could be transitioning. Okay. Huh? Wow, they were a rival of yours? They're a danger to themselves? They're heartbroken by this? A Capricorn could be involved? Who's fake rich? However, it resonates in your story. Take it how it resonates. That could be on heavy drug use. There's a lot of people involved in this. They may have daddy issues. Could be a fake empress. However, it resonates in your story. However, it resonates in your story. Here we go with this good little dusty Leo. Leo, a low vibrational Leo, however resonates in your story. They may have an STD. An Aries could be involved, however it resonates. A Scorpio could be involved, however it resonates in your story. However it resonates in your story. But this robbery is not going to happen. This person could be into the streets here. They're trying to recruit people into the streets. Or they're trying, yeah, they're trying to recruit people from the streets to do this here. But it's not going to work because they can't stick together. Everybody has a different plan and no one can stick to the same plan. And it's just it's just not going to work, y'all. That ain't going to work. <sighs> That's the spiritual message from spirit. This is not working. It's not working. That's the message to pass on towards the collective. It's not working. This intimidation tactics is not working. It's not working.
Someone could be 42 years old, could be born in 1942, could be uh, 1924, okay? Or they could be 41, okay? However, resonates. So somebody could be 14, however, resonates. Four plus one is five. Someone could be born in the month of May. Four plus two is six. Somebody could be born in the month of June. Five plus six is 11. It's a portal. Yeah. Look, breaking it down. This is numerology that I'm speaking about. Four plus two. Break that down to six. And then you have four plus one. Break that down to five. Five plus six is 11. That's a portal. This is a spiritual, high elevated message here spiritual message to pass on you're safe you are safe it's like spirit is looking down on you spirit is the big eye divine is the big eye and here's the messages here or the protection you are safe you're safe you are safe free message you are safe you have nothing to worry about message a warning is in reverse Message of warning is in reverse. You could be a master, master, have a master number of 33 for numerology. Or your life path number could be 33. You could break that down to three or it could be six. Okay. That's numerology. You want to have to look that up. My life path number is a nine. Okay. I'm a humanitarian and all that good jazz. Okay. I'm a niner. <laughs> Where my niners at? Hey, niners. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm a life path nine. If you want to know how to calculate your life path, add up all of the letters in your name and the numbers. So A will equal one, B will equal two, C, three, etc. And then you add them all up until you break it down. So let's say your name was Jane Doe. And you add all the numbers up. So let's say, this just as an example, let's say you got 56. Then you break down 56 to 5 plus 6, which equals 11, and that will be your number, your life path number. So you have a master number. Life path number could be 11. It could be 2, or it could be, yeah, 11 or 2, okay? So that's how that works there, but you can check that out for yourself. Or you can just type, look in numerology, uh, calculator put your name in and then it will calculate it for you you can do it that way too you can also do your birthday as well too wait is it birthday or name hold on let me make sure i'm giving them right information hold on let me double check but i uh how to find your life sorry i made a mistake your but you can definitely find out what your name to but to find your life path number is through your birth date. So I, 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 I apologize. It's through your birth date, not your name, your birth date. Okay, so you add up all of your, your, the numbers in your birth date, simplify it, and then whatever number you get, that will be your life path number. So it's your birth date, not your name. All right, they're angry. <laughs> Because they can't touch you. Sources like, we're not going to allow that. So, yeah, they're very, very, very irate. Very upset. Very angry that they can't regenerate this. That they can't restart this. Could be an Aries. They can't restart this. Should not, of course, you're not in communication with these individuals. Could be a Pisces here. They hate that you have clarity. Okay, could be a Virgo. Don't work. To, don't scare tactics. Don't work. It's pitiful. It's useless, it's boring, it's 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 just it, it's just not gonna work. <laughs> and it's making someone go crazy, tranquility is in reverse because they're losing their mind because they don't have control over the situation, they have don't have control over you here here. Like they really trying to hurt you to get you unalive. They still trying to do it, it's just not gonna work. <laughs> mm -hmm. They are very uncertain. They know, they know that it's not going to work, but they don't want the person that they hired to do this. They don't want them to know because they feel a little bit that it may work based on the person that's doing it here. But they know deep down inside it's not going to work. And if we know how energy works, if you if you believe just a small little psh, that it's not going to work, it's, it's not going to work. <laughs> you can laugh. <laughs> you can laugh at these dusties, okay?
They're trying to sabotage you, but you only end up sabotaging themselves. The whole world is going to know. The whole world. You can't run away from the world. They're going to be like, yo, that's such a... Everybody going to know. And you will be respected. You will be respected, collective. You will. In a very positive way, you will. You will. And you, you have, you have so much protection, man. They may want to come towards you with an apology. They're only coming towards you with an apology because they got caught. But yeah, they, the intimidation tactics are just not working anymore. It's just not. <laughs> or it could be sorry, apology in regards to they're sorry that they've done this or attempted to do this towards you. Yeah, yeah, they're stalking you quietly. They're trying to find information or get information. They have like a some kind of a book or something, some kind of information or um, like leaflets or books or whatever, where they're writing down every type of whatever tip or whatever comes in in regards to you. So it's like they, they're they trying to get this person to be like an investigator. They're not an investigator, but that's what it feels like on the lines of. They're trying to get them to investigate you more by studying you or by watching you quietly. Um, their IP address is tabs. Phone records are tabs. Conversations are tapped. Like they're they're just tapped. They're tapped. They're stuck, and they're crying over you because they're in the ego because they can't do what they want to do towards you. It's not gonna work. This is sad. All because you told the truth of what they've done towards you in the past. Sad. Ooh. Ooh. Excuse me. <laughs> So lame they so lame they haunted mm -hmm. they're haunted by you by you so um yeah they're going bankrupt over this that's crazy they spent their whole life savings trying to unlive you that's crazy anywho we have division um uh, sorry divination abuser they can no longer do that anymore. So they're like going out to people to get them to read you. Um, I'll say illegally or without your permission. Tap into your energy without your permission. It's a shield there. So they can't read you. They don't know what's going on. Um, the information that they think they're receiving about you is completely false. So they won't be able to receive any information in regards to what you're doing and things of that nature here. And that's infuriating these individuals here. Yeah, you dodging bullets left, right, and center. Yeah, and you, you when it come out, you're going to see just how obsessed they were with you with these fake accounts. you going to see. They try to cyberbully you, but it's not working. karma saturn return starts tomorrow if you're on the right side of things oh baby <laughs> i hope you're ready and prepared for all of the beautiful blessings that's getting ready to be bestowed upon you if you did your work if you did your shadow work if you did all that you needed to do this saturn return is gonna be piece of cake you ain't gonna have no issues but if you out here dogging not only yourself and you dogging others at the same time as you're dogging yourself karmic mm-hmm Prepare for this ride of bad karma. Prepare. Who don't hear will feel. All right. Who don't hear will feel. Yeah, they all played out, child. They've been played out. <laughs> but who don't hear will feel. Oh, uh -huh. all right. All right. That's crazy that somebody hates you that much that they want to unalive you. That's crazy. 
for what they've done to you. They feel like no one deserves to know what they've done to you. And you should just stay quiet and just live a life of just being in like a recluse, scared environment. You don't deserve to live life freely. You don't deserve to be happy. You don't deserve to do what you want to do. Because if you're not doing what they say that you're supposed to do, it's a red flag for them. Well, I mean, hey, I don't know what to tell them nasty MFers. I said I'm going to do better with my cuss. I said it, I'm going to do it, so I'm doing it. <laughs> yeah, inside scoop. They think they have the inside scoop about you. They don't know nothing about you, but you know a lot about them. Thank you, Spirit. Let me get some flowers to the Spirit. I thank you, my beautiful ancestors and my divine team. I thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And I am truly, 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 truly grateful for you for allowing me to be able to um, receive these messages and disseminate amongst my be be uh, beloved and beautiful, smart, handsome funny collective yes thank you spirit thank you divine thank you team thank you ancestors thank you thank you thank you of course i hope you praise your divine team this morning when you got up oh okay some of y'all been in your phone did you praise your team this morning oh okay yeah, I'm side-eyeing you. Did you praise your team this morning? Oh, okay. For some of you guys who work with your ancestors, your ancestors want some ancestor money. Go ahead and burn some for them, okay? Follow the spark. And when you burn this ancestor money for your ancestors, because it's like you stopped doing it or so, they want, they want you to resume burning ancestor money. And if you do, you're going to get a, a huge like spark of either inspiration or some kind of idea or information okay so take care of your team so they can take care of you whoever that message resonates for again it ain't gonna resonate with everybody okay so whoever works with their ancestors and you stop giving them ancestor money okay make sure they got their ancestor money all right you said that was the deal between you and them fulfill fulfill what you say you was going to do okay all right now this ain't working y'all <laughs> it's just not working yeah we got manifest They trying to draw all this negative attention to you and all the negative attention that they so-called wanted to push on to you is on to them and they can't handle it they can't handle it mm, they can't handle their secrets out child the high priest they can't handle their secrets out and expose like how dare you expose me collective how dare you do that to us child you ain't nobody <laughs> Clearly in the show, you don't even care about yourself. So the collector should care about your dusty ass. Child police. Child police. Yeah, it's the end. I'm going to stop right there. It's the end for them ragamuffins. Intimidation where? <laughs> I listen to Selena. I'm hearing Come on, La Fla. Katan Sama. Mere se tu. Se mare jita. Me macho. I gotta listen to her. That's my girl. I. Como me duele. Listen, okay? I don't discriminate with the music. Now, I love me some Selena. 
Selena had headphone heads, what? Sky Oakland, put some respect on that girl name. She had some hits out of here, right? Somebody going to a predominantly white institute, so like a, you know, hey, I, I'm just a messenger. Just what it says, predominantly white institute, so like Harvard and, you know, stuff like that, okay? Um, I'm hearing Voltron, Vortex. Someone's a teacher's aide or a teacher's assistant. Someone's um, thinking about switching either from AT&T or to AT&T. Somebody loves burritos. Someone loves bacon. Like you put bacon on everything. Somebody puts cold bacon in their coleslaw. Different. Okay. It's different. It might be good. I don't know. I've never had it before. Someone's TV's acting up or messing up. You're going to have to get a new TV. I'm hearing the best part of waking up is Folgers in your car. Somebody <laughs> drinking Folgers. <laughs> I'm hearing Bravo Bravado. You could be going to the university, university of Texas. University of Texas. You could be from Utah. See, we have B-O-L-O, -L, be on the lookout. They may go on a run. They ain't gonna go that far, but whatever. If you ain't do nothing, why are you running? <sighs> His name is Jace, J-A-C-E, could be Jake, J-A-K-E, Jacqueline. I'm hearing Woolworth, remember that store, Woolworth? Mesa, M-E-S-A, Mesa, M-E-Z-A. I'm hearing maize, M-A-I-Z-E, -E. so corn, like maize corn. Um, or someone loves fall. Somebody loves A&W root beer. I'm hearing Interscope Records. Someone's name is Stacy or Stasi, Stasha, Stasha, Stasha. All right, so I hear I have Stacy. And also Stasha. Okay. Someone, someone's sciatic nerve could be messing up. So sciatic. Okay, sciatic nerve. Someone has a Siamese cat or you think about getting a Siamese cat. Very, 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 very specific. Someone can't sleep so they recite the alphabet to drift off to sleep, okay? Someone named is Sia, S-I-A. Your name could be Tia, T-I-A, a Tia, A-T-I-A. I'm hearing Mechalobe. Mech Isn't that a bear? Mechalobe? Michelobe? I believe that's a bear. Somebody's waiting for Christmas. I keep hearing, I can't wait for Christmas. Someone's name is Jason or Jace, J-A-S-E, J-A-C-E. But I'm also seeing Jason. You may like that uh, tall guy, um, mm -hmm. Momoa, something like that. Mamawa, Jason Mamawa, something. He's really tall and very, like to me, he's like otherworldly. He's very handsome. Very, yeah, he has very unique, um, like eyes. His eyes are very, to me, he's like very mesmerizing. Um, but he's a very handsome guy. He's really tall and just like, you know, like heavy. Somebody could be from Samoa, Samoa, 
S A M O A. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that correctly. Samoa, I believe they that's how they pronounce it. Even Samoa or some something like that. Okay, you could be from Somalia. Isn't that a Girl Scout cookie too? Samoan cookies or something like that. I believe that's a Girl Scout cookie. Um, you could be from South Africa, the Netherlands. I'm hearing Chelsea, either your name is Chelsea or you could be from Chelsea, is it either Great Britain or England? I believe those are two different parts. Correct me, okay? I don't know everything, all right? Um, but I'm hearing Chelsea, United Kingdom. I'm hearing London, Br Brickin, Birkin, what spirit? Brickenstaff, Birkenstaff. Either Brickenstaff or Birkenstaff. Okay? They going to jail, child. Someone's name is K with a C. Okay? That could be a nickname. I'm hearing Lita, L-I-T-A. That could be a nickname or Lolita. Okay? I'm hearing marsupial. You may be into marsupials. That might be your thing. You could be going to school to study at. I don't know what type of degree that would be under. I'm not sure. But I just see marsupials and then I see a degree coming, combining together. So I'm not, I mean, I don't know. It's agriculture. I'm not sure. I don't know what degree that will stem under, but that's what I see. Someone loves Saks or uh, Fifth Avenue Saks. Someone loves watching A&E. I'm hearing Tiante, Dante. Maven, M A Y V E N, Maven. Marvin, Markel, M A R K E L, Markel. Markil, M A R K I L L, Marquil, M A R Q I L L, Marquil, Markil. Someone's a lieutenant. Okay, this lieutenant watching. What up, brother or sister? What up, y'all? Somebody from bed style. What up, bed style? What up, boo? I see you. What up, boo? I'm here in Brownsville. What up, Brownsville? What's up, y'all? New York in the building. Y'all know how I feel about my New York. Because I love her. I love all you guys, but... It's just something about New York got a special place in my heart. You know, I love me some New York, okay? Someone's name is Akil. Akim, A-K-I-M. I'm hearing Maka, M-A-K-A. -A. Could be Maka Diamond. She's a, a, a dancer or reggae artist. Oh, her one more. Do it one more time. I'm hearing Sock Passe, okay? My beautiful Haitian. Yay! I'm hearing a lot of um reggaeton Hispanic music. That's what I'm hearing. I'm hearing salsa music. Somebody wants to dance or want to go dancing or you want to learn how to salsa or you want to learn how to make a specific salsa. So Guinness, you may like to drink Guinness the beer or something that you're going to do is going to land you in the Guinness, Guinness World Records. You could be from Florida. Okay. We got a DJ. Hey, Mr. DJ. All right. Um, someone's from the Philippines. I'm hearing Phineas and Ferb. Your name could be Finny. Your nickname could be Finny. Your nickname could be Herb or Herb. Someone's a nurse that's watching.
So you could be a nurse for almost 50 years? Wow. Oh, wow. That's dope. And the reason why, how I got five, because all the numbers equal to five, one, 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 one. So, and I put uh, the zero. So you could be a nurse for up to 50 years? That's, wow. That's, wow. <laughs> wow. That's, that's amazing. That's amazing. Somebody loves Wyclef Jean. Someone could be growing zinnias, Z-I-N-N-I-A-S. Your name could be zinnia. Someone love Lurch off of the Adams family. The big tall guy that don't speak. Or your nickname could be Lurch. Someone drinks a lot. They're a lush. Or you may like Lush, the cosmetic place where you can get like your bath bombs and your soaps and stuff. I think it's called Lush Cosmetics. Somebody suffering from severe erectile dysfunction. Okay, it will get better. So my name could be Jed. Okay. <laughs> Somebody loves watching FXX. I don't know, FX and then FXX. I do know there's an FXX. Okay. Someone's having a boy. Congratulations. I'm oh, sorry. Girl. XX is girl. I'm sorry. Hold on, wait. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. Ah, XX is girl. Yes, I'm sorry. XX is girl. I'm sorry. <laughs> Someone's having a um a girl. You could be having twins. You could be having a boy and a girl, or you could have went to get your ultrasound, your 20 week ultrasound, and they may have thought it was a boy, but you found out that it was an actual girl. So that may have happened. Your name could be Lou, Lou Ellen. You may love Ellen DeGeneres. Okay, we got Pisces, Mar or Venus, Pisces and Venus in the 11th house, okay? We got Aries in the moon, 7th house. Okay, we got Gemini, North Node, Six House, no more, Aries, Mars, Fifth House, okay, all right, we got Capricorn, Aquarius, Capricorn, let's do four more, Aquarius, Leo, damn, Capricorn, Gemini, Capricorn, one more, let me do two more, god damn, Scorpio, Scorpio, okay, so if that resonates, please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, next time.